Today, I am playing a game called Life is Strange, and I've also seen, I've seen Cupcake play this game, and I felt like playing it, so let's jump right on in. Oh wait, I'm going to, oh. <clears throat> well, we don't have any games, but... I'm going to Here we go. Life is Strange is based. Life is Strange is a story bay. Oh, I didn't even have time to read that. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Is that supposed to be me? What's that to me? Tornado. Holy shit. Oh. Yep. <gasps> Whoa. That was so surreal. Film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. His I'm in class. Everything's story. cool. So I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, 
I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please <laughs> tell us Just the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Cornelius. You can my find little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Textbook. Or even online. <sighs> and guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. I'm not gonna know any of the controls. But Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Let's go speak. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. <laughs> Wait, what? It's a computer. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the com. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Oh, <laughs> totally. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? No, I don't know but any of the controls, so at least it's helping me. To take images. <laughs> oh, to I gotta be quiet. Why they are they talking? Sorry. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Because uh, she is. Man, Why is there a TV in the room? He has the best plasma HD TV for a class monitor. Can't oh, wait. wait to watch some more documentaries Ooh, on can this we bad boy. Look at the books. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henry Cartier-Bresson. Alright, I gotta get That's going. That's rare. Any leave of it. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You you welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. I'm not paying her. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Oh. She's so fucking shy. <gasps> Copyrighted. What did I just do?
Oops. Settings, auto. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but <laughs> his photos are Evan. very cool. <laughs> That's Justin. Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I w Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <laughs> I have no idea what is happening. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. No! Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You, you're okay, Why bro. Why is he in Just the girl bathroom? Come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? I did 
did it. Can you give me I an actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. Life. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't yet. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Still the same Why stupid artists? picture. Because of her keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by my the My pencil case is still on this. When I took my selfie, Jefferson so asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does right, again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Bowser, my old broken Seriously, camera is new again. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still hmm? have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so... You see the door? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max? Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an... Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. 
I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Aw, thank you. Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. <laughs> I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come Don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. I'm I so need a hammer to break it open. Trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. I need Nobody a hammer to break it open. Never even missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psych! Can't go back any further. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this. I need a hammer to break it open. Ever even miss your punk ass, would they? There you go. Wait. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my... Future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. 
No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion Later, in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything, since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? <laughs> I've got Nathan Prescott Rachel into big Amber. trouble. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hmm. Oh, she went missing. And she was age 19. Oh, just like me. <laughs> missing where? This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason, and I have to find out why. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Your dorm. 
Where's your door? Then where's her dorm? Oh, it's her dorm over this way. Wait, what does it say? Go to the dorm. Go to the somewhere. <laughs> Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Okay. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. How do I? Oh. What am I supposed to do? I have no idea. There's only one way around this. None shall pass. Capiche? That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. I 
I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Okay, let's see if this works. Hmm, a paint bucket next to Victoria. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. No! Ah, oh, man. Okay, let's see if this works. Hmm, a paint bucket next to Victoria. I see a plan. Okay, let's see if this works. Do you understand English? Get lost. Victoria is not getting the hint. No! God, what the hell am I supposed to do? Y'all, I don't know how to get to my dorm. This is where my dorm's at. But Keep Victoria going. needs to get the hell out of my way. And I don't know what to do, so this makes it harder. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. You're so lucky that didn't fall on us. We'd see your ass so fast. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost ruining my Victoria outfit. Victoria is not getting the hint. You're so lucky that didn't fall on us. We'd see your ass so fast. I must have missed something. I should rewind. No. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. None shall pass. Capiche? Okay, let's see if this works. Keep walking, hippie. Victoria is not getting the hint. Sorry. I don't know what the hell to do! God, Lord have mercy. I can't grab yeah. that. Samuel is way too close. Hmm. Bucket next to Victoria. I see a plan. Victoria! I don't know what to do. I'm so lost. Get out That's the way! The first and last Jerk! I expect to hear that. Victoria, you jackass! I don't know what to do, you guys. I'm confused. Okay, let's see if this works. Victoria is not getting the hint. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to... There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. 
Drive. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do? Uh, like, this, like, uh, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm confused. I would need that paintbrush to fall right on Victoria, but it won't oh, let the me. Gone. They have to be right yeah. under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. You're so lucky that I didn't fall on us. We'd see your ass so fast. Jerk. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. They ain't telling me what to do, you jerk faces. I've never seen this game before. Oh, sweet God, not have mercy. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. I don't know what the hell to do with this stinking game. Hmm. A paint bucket next to Victoria. Okay, let's see if this works. Nah, I'm just going in a different way. There ain't nothing to do! So I'm so dumb. I'm screwed. I hate this game. Hey. Hi, whoever this is. Leave me alone. Ah. That makes what more sense. Are you kidding? Look at okay, this now I know. I Just was water. about to say, yeah, what do I do? Water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Well, Corey. What? <laughs> Okay, Victoria. Oh, Sam, you're sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess this with is Max, funky. bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Okay. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a Get messed up. up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. There we go. Oh, we did it. Oh, stop it. Oh, I know who you are. Quit. I gotta go. I gotta go uh, see who uh, is texting me. Fun guy, quit. Hey, Corey. Wow, Corey. This is fun guy. Corey did it. Uh, if, uh, I knew it was fun guy the whole time. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Juliet, extreme reporter. Wait, I want to see. Wait, what's this? Corey As didn't if. do it. As if. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club? T Taylor is a slave. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. <laughs> She just called herself How a loser. Doing? How am I doing? Wait, is that what you said? I'm doing great. Like Thank you for asking, fun guy. Welcome to Black Hill. Did you just say what I think you said? Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. At least that's an alarm from this century.
Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Could be fun. Good Thanks for the warning. Fun guy, I think you, you should get, get this missing. game. Somebody has gone crazy with these posters. This game is... How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. <laughs> Obvious, but true. <laughs> really? No, Max! She has a teddy bear. I'm not gonna make fun of that. And a guitar. I'm not gonna make fun of those. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. I, I am so addicted to this. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Mm. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. <laughs> I got it. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Huh? What? Oh. I gotta end my episode. Go away. Peace. They can't hear you. I don't know what to do. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Okay, guys, I gotta end the episode there. I'm gonna... I'll, I should be back, but uh, if I don't come back... I'll make another YouTube video after I eat my dinner. So, thank you guys so much for... Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and bye!